Good afternoon. Look at these two beautiful souls. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Three beautiful souls. We're gonna eat dinner and go to Epcot. I'm very excited. We just picked up a ton of awesome Christmas cards and sweet packages from the P.O. Box. Thank you everybody who sent something recently. Um, you reminded me that I need to get my act together on our Christmas cards. Um, hopefully, I mean, luckily like Walgreens print stuff quick. We should be able to find cards at a store, but yeah, gotta get on that. We just parked at Epcot and James was awake the whole ride. Like he usually sleeps in the car, but he was just chilling. So who, what do you think, Peter, bassinet or carrier? I don't know, I think we tried the bat, the carrier just to see, but bring the bassinet just in case. He just needs to chill in it. Yeah, he like is typically asleep. I know, so then we'll know right away if he's gonna like yeah, withstand true. the carrier. And if not, we'll just put him in the bassinet. You guys are witnessing are like behind the scenes of figuring out new parent life. You haven't showed this beautiful garland they've got going on. Park in the store for like the fourth time. I wanted to show the action. Look how simple it is. Boom. All the valuables. Yes. The Obviously that's super valuable, but it's just that simple to yank that up. Yeah. And keep on walking. Look where we're going. Ooh, thank you. James, can you smell it? This is smell of vacation heaven. <laughs> We are going to see how long the wait is for living with the land and maybe go on it. Yeah, maybe. I'm glad we caught this because this doesn't always stay open until close. That's true. That was kind of risky. Yeah, we didn't even think about that. It's 7.50 right now. We only have an hour and 10 minutes of park time. Right, and sometimes living with the land is not open that late. Technically the first indoor attraction, right? Yeah. That's a Delta Five Heavy. Whoa. That's not a. That's not a SpaceX. Wow. Alrighty, so that's a surveillance satellite. satellite. I don't know. I think it was better on the camera. So it's going. I think it's going over the Atlantic because it's launching out, and we're still seeing its booster so clear because its butt's facing us. Yeah. Wow. Cool. We literally ran out of the land. Spaceship Earth. Real spaceship. Well, I guess it's not really a spaceship, but it's still in a, in the space. So we are back for more chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> and this time, so that was the first place that we literally I swiped my debit card and Megan Peter went, wait, you get an AP discount after seven. I go, alright, so those amazing Canada chocolates are $4.50 before an annual pass discount. The log. The log. So we're each gonna get our own. This is what we are back for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All our own. Peter didn't see how cute it was last time because I just chopped it in half. I'm gonna go get another one, okay? I'll be back. Are you using your son's head as a mask holder? Sure. Wait for it. That's why we made such a big head of baby? Yeah. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Oh, that, I can't hit that note. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. Sarah can hit that note. We actually thought James was going to be awake this visit. And he might wake back up. 
The but soothing tunes of living with the land lulled him to sleep. <laughs> I think between that and him being strapped to my hot body yeah. and the bouncing of this, like yeah. that would lull me to sleep. But I think he actually saw Spaceship Bird with his own two eyes. We are on a mission to Norway for a birthday present from my mom to Peter. We made it. Same size. <laughs> yeah. You are a troll. The gift was acquired, but I'm gonna wait for Peter to show it to you until he opens it, because I am gonna wrap it for my mom. The Germany pavilion was made for Christmas time. It truly was. And we're four minutes out from Parco, so nobody is here. I'm just saying this. Sarah and I had a traditional German ornament for the Christmas. For the Christmas. Festivities. And we lost it this year. I, I think we, we must have left it in the tree. Maybe. We hit it too well on ourselves. We cannot have a Christmas, our first one with child with us, and not have the traditional German pickle. Well, we're not going to get it today, but maybe on our staycation in a couple weeks, we'll yeah. pick it up because we have to have one. Or we'll put a real pickle. Eve would go nuts, though. <laughs> we're out of pickles, by the way. Oh. I feel like we didn't give this tree enough love. We were too concerned with whatever we were buying from the smoke house right there. Yeah. Oh, it was the um, the vegan pot pie. Yeah. So this is beautiful. It actually looks better on the camera than in person. It's just like picking up all the lights. I love that. Yeah, can I point it in my finger? Yeah. I love... Where is it? There. That box right there, it's got like a... It looks like it's supposed to have a flame. Yeah. Right? That's like the most realistic fake flame I've seen at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pineapples. It's got Mickey Mouse pants on. These are a pair that were too big and now, now he fits. Wait, you gotta put in the clip right of, of the M&M. Okay. <laughs> right here. He looked earlier in the car, I was changing him. I'm like, wait, you look like M&M. He's coming straight off of 8 Mile. The reflection is just so perfect of the Epcot experience. Let's take this far away shot. Okay. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I literally want this for our Christmas card. Should we just take it? The whole thing? Just steal it? You think we could get away with it? I think we could. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think that it's... um? sponsored by Advent Health because of the temperature taking? Or do you think that that was already in the works? I think that that's maybe how they got started with their business relationship. I I know oh, I just got <laughs> I know this is still on the project list, but I don't think it's highest priority. I did see that they've confirmed that the Walt statue is still happening. Yes. And I'm excited cuz then I need I need our own little version of that like we have the two other Statues. Where are those? I don't, I don't know. We gotta find them. <laughs> what were you gonna say though about the project? I hope this. I like. I can't wait for this like yard area hangout spot to be done. Hopefully, Club Cool will come back. 2.0. Give me my Beverly. The last time we were at Epcot, me and Katie Petrus were talking about how Spaceship Earth is our favorite park icon. Oh, hands down. Yeah, I love the castle, but like. That is just pure joy. Like Beauty. there's nothing else like it in the world. Like Innovation. we're just underneath it and there's a ride in it. And it's just like it's just and like no other Disney park has it. So comment below, like what's your favorite park icon? It could be any Disney park. But I think Spaceship Earth is gotta be number one. Mine's the Earful Tower. Mine was the Earful Tower. I was oh. just joking. It went blurry. Remember, you went, it went blurry when you lied the other day, and then it went blurry. Oh, it went blurry again! I'm like Pinocchio, but instead of, wait a minute, Pinocchio, they're making a real life live action with Tom Hanks in it. So just quit watching our vlog now. Yeah. And get seriously. ready to watch that Disney Plus movie. I'll link it below the little like video we saw on Twitter. <laughs> it's just like two photos, but yeah, make it. <laughs> it's enough to make you feel something. Yeah, make you, you feel a lot. If you need to feel something, sometimes like, you just need to feel something. Like looking at that. You'll have your time to shine one day. Hey James? Hi. 
your computer is still crazy. Evie, you always give the best welcomes home. Okay, so we are home and I'm gonna show you Peter's present before I wrap it. Um, I ended up getting the like gift version of the cologne instead of just the cologne because it was only $4 more. It came with this toiletry bag, the big bottle of cologne, and then the deodorant, which we've never, I mean, I've never seen or used before. I think my sister has the Layla version of it or she has in the past but um, it was only four bucks more, and this is normally $22. Now I'm a sucker for a deal. Why am I doing this to myself again? Another just before midnight start. And I'm extra stubborn because I won't wait until midnight because I want this run to clock on today's date, but if I wait until midnight, I could play the new Taylor Swift CD on Spotify, but now I can't. So, I don't know what I'm gonna listen to. Look at this sweetie sleeping boy. I have the family stone on. It's my best friend Lauren's, like, I don't think, I don't know if it's her number one, but it's definitely, like, one of her most watched Christmas movies. We don't have it on DVD, um, but it is streaming on HBO Max until the end of the month. She told me that when I was FaceTiming her the other day, and, um, so whenever I watch it, it makes me think of her. Lauren is just as big of a Christmas fan as Peter and I are. Um, so she knows she knows the power of a good Christmas movie. Oh, check it out. I haven't been downtown like this in a while. City Hall. Hi. Right. I actually didn't need the sweatshirt, but I don't want to care because it's one of my bigger sweatshirts. So it looks like added body heat and sweat to my run. But I want to show you. Here's Dr. Phillips Center. Um, haven't gone to a show here. Really want to. But something that came, well, it was like spurned from the world of COVID is City of Orlando came up with some idea along with a few sponsors like Dr. Phillips Center, like Disney, and they're making this thing called the Front Yard. All city approved, Department of Health, Florida, if that means anything to you. Um, and they're gonna have outdoor vendors, outdoor entertainment thing, all social distance. And I haven't been as close since I started building it, but check this out. So right over these fences, you can see the like booths Kind of like Chris Kindle Market. You can kind of see there's a stage over there with some mega jumbotrons. But here, look at this cool facade and everything. So you got Disney right there as a sponsor, Revago, Advent Health, Dr. Phillips Center, Vistar, yeah. Front Yard. I don't know when. I know there's food vendors, I know there's some shops, but there's also gonna be some like a place for event for like musicians and performers to perform and hang out and just get get some businesses that don't have the facilities to be open with social distancing out here making money again. So I'll have to look up when this actually starts, but this is, they've just started building this up for the last few weeks. Also ran down Orange Avenue, if you know the church in Orange area of Orlando. Whoa, it was packed over there. So I was running in the streets just now. I'm taking a back road kind of by Lake Eola back home. But it was interesting. It was weird to see lively downtown life. I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't partake right now. Um, but time to go home. It's late. I'm getting delirious. Okay, here's a side profile. And it's a better view. So there's another entrance. It says Front Yard Festivals. And all, see those booths? Those are all continuously connected booths. Spread out spacing and a stage right there. Interesting. We'll have to look up and see what's going on, but... Cool, new, city, innovative way to try to get some business, economy, and entertainment during these times. Ooh, it's a late one. But we're gonna knock out this message. I'm heating up a bottle for James. Sarah and James are actually asleep right now on the couch. But we're gonna heat up the bottle, we're gonna read a quick story, and we're gonna go to bed. It is December 10th. Well, technically it's 11th now, but we're gonna just gonna go with the 10th. Paolo Colo. It's true. Life really is generous to those who pursue their destiny. Someone came to see what I was doing, so we're gonna do the sign off. Cause someone's tired. Oh, thank you. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.